As teams and drivers prepare for the 2012 Petit Le Mans powered by Mazda, we take a look back at the top five moments from last year's Petit Le Mans race. Coming in at number five, the final round of the 2011 American Le Mans series season was filled with action. The number eight Peugeot of Frank Montaigne, Stefan Saris, and Alexander Wurz had an intense battle with the number one Audi Sport Team Yost entry. The feud ended with three hours to go when the two touched, sending the Audi into the wall at turn eight. From there, it was clear sailing to the checkered flag for the Peugeot. At number four, the battle for the GT Challenge Championship played out in pit lane. Black Swan Racing was able to usurp the lead from TRG with a quick pit stop near the six and a half hour mark. But then Alex Job Racing played the same game to take the lead during the final round of stops. Driving the number 54 Porsche he shares with Tim Pappas and Sebastian Bleekemol and his brother, Jerome Bleekemol, was able to take the lead from Lee Keen, who was driving the number 23 Alex Job Racing Porsche and did so in the closing minutes of the race to claim the win. That win gave Black Swan Racing the GT Challenge Team Championship in Tim Pappas, the driver's title. Coming in at number three, Level 5 Motorsport Scott Tucker started third and took the number 33 car to an early lead, battling with the Signatech Orica Nissan throughout his opening double stint. The two teams enjoyed a spirited fight until the Nissan struck mechanical problems in the fifth hour. Christophe Bouchou and Joao Barbosa stayed out of trouble, and the final four and a half hours proved to be clear sailing for the Level 5 team with a hefty eight lap margin. At number two, the battle in the LMP challenge was a nail biter between PR1 Matheson Motorsports and Intersport Racing. Ryan Lewis, Ken Dobson, and Henri Richard claimed the class win for PR1 in the number 52 entry over Intersports Kyle Marcelli, Tommy Dreesey, and Chapman Ducote in the number 89. However, the PC focus kept going back to the championship implications for Core Autosport and Genoa Racing and it was a third place finish for Core and a fourth place finish for Genoa that affected the championship. As a result, Eric Lux, Gunnar Jeanette and Ricardo Gonzalez ended the season in a three-way tie for the LNPC Drivers' Championship, while Core narrowly edged Genoa for the team title. And at number one, BMW Motorsports took the GTE Pro lead from pole sitter AF Corsa early, but a flat tire for the number 55 BMW handed the lead back to AF Corsa in the number 51 Ferrari driven by Giancarlo Fisichella, Gian Maria Bruni, and Pierre Koffer. A quick pit stop for BMW allowed Joey Hand to take the class lead briefly, but Bruni retook the point on a restart just moments later and held on for the GTE Pro win. York Bergmeister just nipped Dirk Werner at the line to take second in the number 045 Flying Lizard Motorsports Porsche he shared with Patrick Long and Patrick Pillay. Werner was third in the number 55 BMW he co-drove with Bill Oberlin and Augusto Farfus. In GTE AM, Krohn Racing won its home race with drivers Tracy Krohn, Nicholas Janssen and Michele Rugolo in the number 57 Ferrari F430. The number 50 Larbra competition Corvette C6 ZR1, shared by Patrick Bornhauser, Julien Canal, and Gabrielle Gardel, was second, followed by the number 60 Golf AMR Middle East Aston Martin Vantage of Fabien Juro and Michael Wainwright. The 2012 running of the 1,000 mile 10 hour Petit Le Mans, powered by Mazda, is scheduled for 11.30 a.m. Eastern Time on Saturday, October 20th. Full live coverage starts at 11.15 a.m. Eastern Time on ESPN3. ABC's broadcast begins at 1 p.m. Eastern on Sunday, October 21st.